Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create pages in Confluence. So to create a page, it is a very simple task in Confluence. You just need to know how to navigate and understand what all steps you need to follow to create good pages in Confluence. Now, if we talk about, you know, this particular instance of Confluence, this is the Jira, uh, this is the Confluence cloud version. So I've signed up for the cloud version. And if you haven't watched the previous tutorial, so please go through and watch those because this is a series. So if you go through the series one by one, you'll be able to understand and connect all the tutorials together. So uh, here, if you want to create a page, so you see this create button here. So either you can click on this create button or click on this, you know, like or press the C on your keyboard. So uh, if you see here, if I hover over on this button, this is the shortcut. So C is the shortcut. It's equivalent to clicking on the create button, right? So I can press C and as soon as I press C on my keyboard, it will redirect me to the page creation panel, right? So now I'm on the page creation panel. You can see that I have uh, the page editor at the top wherein I can, you know, customize uh, the page, um, have different customization option, which is basically similar to what we see in the Word, um, you know, document. And I'll cover the editor in detail and along with the macros in uh, upcoming tutorial. But as of now, so this is the blank page that we have got. I can provide the title here. So I can say test page one and then you can provide the description right so as soon as you provide the title uh, this publish button will be enabled in that particular case so let me put the description right so now you can see this is the page that i have created uh, and i haven't published it yet right let me publish it and this is the page that will cre get created into the documentation demo space if you see right so this is the space wherein this test page one got created. Okay. Now let me click on create again and I'll walk through a couple of more options that are available in the create page. Right. So here, if you see in the right hand side, uh, the first time what we did is we basically created a blank page with our own title and description. But if in the right hand side, you will see the select space. So if I want to change the space where I want to create this particular page, I can select the space from the drop down. So if I don't want to create this page in documentation demo space, I want to create it in first demo space, click on that. And then Confluence provides you a lot of out of the box templates. So you can see 88 templates are provided there and uh, they, they are categorized into different categories. For example, if you want to some look something for the business strategy, design docs and reports, etc. You can filter those out from these filters. If you click on these ellipses here, you have marketing and sales productivity. So these templates are out of the box templates and what these templates are basically. So these are the, uh, you know, predefined pages that you can apply to, you know, templates that you can apply to your pages. So say, for example, I want to create a brainstorming document. So what I'll do is I'll simply select this brainstorming template. And it, uh, if I click on it, then you, this page particular, this particular page will be updated with this brainstorming template. So let it load. So here now you can see this template has been applied on this particular page. And here at the top, you will see the first demo space and below pages, this, you know, uh, page will get created. And this particular template is predefined and it has all the table or, you know, macros already inserted into this particular page and this will save me a lot of work when i have to you know uh, customize this page so i if i if this exact template doesn't suit my project need i can update it so for example if i instead of you know like two columns i want to update the table option to have the three columns i can simply you know change the table options from here so header column header row or numbered column so i can update that or i can you know insert another column remove the column so this is all possible uh, when i choose the template to customize the details this will help us to basically reduce 
the amount of work that we use or that we do to create the pages but in case the template doesn't suit or all the out of the box templates don't suit your project need you can anyways go ahead and design your own pages okay so if you want you can design your own pages and then you know use those later so i'll just change it to demo page i'll pay, uh, provide the title here so demo page um, with template and then i can publish it so if i click on publish so you can see the page has been published and it is it's in the first demo space so below the pages now to edit the content it's exactly similar as you will be editing the content in any of the word document or any other document right so now i can provide the facilitator name here so uh, i can do it later or i can do or edit during the creation of the page so that's not a problem at all in confluence right so you can provide all the details um, while creating the page or you can edit the page later to provide the details of the page or within the page right so this is how you will create a page in confluence so first step is to click on the create button or press the c button on your keyboard or go to the space so uh, say for example if i go to the home page on the home page if i want to create the pages in a particular space say for example rcv demo so i'll choose that particular space and now from that space i can create the pages right so these are the list of the pages that are available at the moment now from this space if i click on this create button this space will by default be selected okay so you can see the space selected space is by default selected uh, and i can simply provide the title page title and a description here and click on publish and a new page will get published within this particular space now say for example i want to create a child page so let me close it i want to create a page now i want to create a page hierarchy in a particular space so i'll select the particular space and within this particular space if you see this little icon here this is the meeting notes which has a child page right so below these pages that you have created the root level pages if i want a child page below the product requirement i'll just highlight and click on this plus icon if you see if i hover it says create a child page so if i click on this particular plus it will open the create page you know uh, window and in this page you will see that if you see the hierarchy below pages rcv demo product requirements is where below below this product requirements page this page will get created so i'll say product requirement child page okay let me publish it and we'll see the hierarchy of this particular page so now you'll see the below product requirement there is a child page product requirement child page right if i want to create one more child click on the highlight or hover over this particular page click on this plus icon and there will be another child created below this particular page if i want a couple of you know child pages below product requirement i'll go to the product requirement and click on plus below that and it will create all the child pages that uh, the number of child pages that i want to create below the product requirement the root level pages you can you know simply say for example i'll click on create if i want to change the pages to the root level pages so i simply have to make sure that when i'm creating these pages these are at the root level right so i want to create them at the space level so i'll simply click on this rcv demo working let me put the title okay so Okay, it went to that particular space so you simply have to be on that particular space and then click on create so in this particular case it won't if you see the hierarchy here it's at the rcv demo level or or the space level so at this particular point the page that gets created will be at the same level so you can see it is at the same level but if i select any of these say for example decision log is selected right at the moment the decision log is selected and click on create then the page that will open will open 
to create a page below the decision log right so test decision log. if i publish it it will be a child page below the decision log so this is the very important thing to you know make sure so you can see rcv demo decision log and below that this test decision log has been created so if you want to create a space or if you want to create a page below the you know space below the space in at the um, you know parent level then you have to make sure that you are at the root level here okay so now i'm at the overview or the demo or a space level now if i'll create the pages will be created at the parent level if i am at any of the page or any page is highlighted and then i'll create the page then the page will get created at the below that particular level okay so this is very easy to you know follow and understand there is nothing you know tricky about it you just have to make sure whenever you are you know creating the pages you just ensure that this hierarchy that you see at the top you just ensure that you are in the right place where you want to create the pages this is you know like uh, highly um, many many people get confused that i created a page and the page is not visible at the location where i want to you know see it so this is this is the place where you need to make sure that you are creating a page at the right level and it will be available for you for at that particular right level so that's all for this tutorial how to create a page in confluence hope this was helpful please do share and subscribe thank you very much for watching